Do you want to know what is arguably the most annoying part of running a tech review focused YouTube channel? That's managing multiple monitors and multiple products. For example, my actual PC, my Mac, and things that I'm testing and using them all together. Well, no more, my friends. It's a KVM. This is a Tez Smart, T E S Smart KVM product. What does that mean? These are designed, ooh, there's a box within a box. These are designed to streamline a setup like mine, where you have multiple monitors and more specifically, multiple products hooking up to those monitors. Maybe you have a gaming PC and a productivity thing. Maybe you have a console and a gaming PC. Maybe you have a laptop and a PC. Maybe you have a Mac, etc. And you don't want to be fiddling with cords behind all the time, which I have to do. I have to always go behind my monitor, pull the cords out, plug them into this thing that I'm testing, plug them into that. And it is actually a nightmare. I'm not exaggerating, it's actually a nightmare. Alrighty, so let's have a quick look at the website here. We have multiple different options from Kez, uh, TestSmart for the KVM. This is the one we're looking at today. So this is pretty cool stuff. This is the HDK202-M24-USBK. Basically, it's a KVM. So we have HDMI 2.1 support. That's very good. That is going to allow us to do 4K 120 hertz refresh. Display port 1.4, it's going to allow us to do as well. Very high refresh up to 4K 140. Yeah, 4K 144 hertz, very, very high refresh. So if you're doing gaming, if you have, for example, a 5070 Ti, like I'm going to show in this video a little bit, or you have even better 5080, 5090, and you do some high 4K gaming, it will be really nice and it'll actually support that. Uh, it does support obviously two different devices. So we end up getting device one, device two. You can support also up to two monitors. So if we come in here, you can see you can support one monitor, two monitor, which I'll show in here, and two different devices, one and two. We'll show multiple different devices here. So that's very good. It also does support features such as VRR. So again, if you are gaming, that's gonna be really nice and dynamic HDR as well. So for gamers, it's gonna be quite nice because despite the fact that you're, no, you're not hooking directly into the monitor, you're still gonna support all of those very important features. Uh, you do get some fast ports on the front here for things like storage. You get a couple slower ports here for things like mouse and keyboard, as you can see by little pictures. Again, we'll show all this, some ethernet as well. Uh, very easy to use. Honestly, it's very, very easy to use. Now, one thing I do want to point out, we do have the same output for both. So it is going to be putting uh, HDMI out to your monitors. Uh, pretty much every monitor is going to support HDMI. But every device, you may not necessarily have HDMI or DisplayPort. Here we have both. So in some cases, you may want to use DisplayPort. Uh, in some cases, you may want to use HDMI. In this video, I'm going to show off a little bit of Nintendo Switch, which will be obviously the Nintendo Switch doesn't have a DisplayPort, so we're going to be able to use HDMI. Uh, I'm also going to, and, and also a Mac, uh, Mac Mini, this only uses HDMI, but I am also going to be showing some stuff with DisplayPort as well. Now they are also going to be offering a coupon, which I'll put in the video description down below. It's going to be Bow10, you can see there. Uh, put that in when you go to checkout and you'll be able to get 10% off, uh, which on this one will take us down from f uh, $500 down to $450. So that's pretty good, uh, pretty good discount there. So just you can use that. And apparently that's a site-wide uh, coupon as well. So if you find that, you know, this one, well, it's fantastic. Maybe you want a different product that they offer, a different KVM. Uh, you can certainly try it there. I mean, they have some pretty intense ones down here. Okay, now this goes in here. This is the one I'm gonna go to the Mac. Like that there. Like that there. And then this is gonna run under as well. I'm not gonna do like the craziest cable management for this video. Uh, Cause I actually wanna get all these old cables out of here once I'm done. All these cables can go and it'll be a nice clean setup. Okay, so there we are set up. That's going to my Mac. That's going to my PC. These are going to the monitors, and I think we're gonna be good to go here. So we're gonna tuck that back under here. Get all these old wires in here, man. Gotta get all these old wires out of here. Okay, now we're set up. So I have my laptop here. This is hooked up into PC one. I have my Mac mini, which is now hooked up into PC two. This is the dongle, watch this. So now you can see that the uh, control there is hooking up to that. It's also hooked up to this keyboard. Very cool, very cool. So, I mean, that's kind of the setup that I have right now. I guess I could take that out, put it on my PC, and it would be really no different. I guess one of the other advantages is, I mean, it's just going to this cool thing, whatever. That's cool. Now, so that's PC1. That's my laptop down there, PC1. 
very cool. Now, I don't have to touch my monitor. By the way, if you might have seen earlier, the button is an extremely difficult spot on this Asus. It's like back here, part way up. This one's fairly easy, uh, the LG, because it's just like a little thing down there. This one is a nightmare to get to. It drives me. I don't even want to. It just, it's, it's just bad. It's bad. So now I don't have to do that anymore. I can just go like that. And where are we now? Well, apparently on a Mac. And the mouse, I never did anything. I didn't change the settings on these this mouse here for one, two, three. This one has three settings, but I didn't have to change anything. It's still just connected to that, right? Unplug this. And it's gonna end up just not working anymore, right? Doesn't work anymore. Put it back in. I can see what I'm doing here. Like that there. Now that's that's connected to this and this directly, and it's working, right? Okay, so now that I know everything's working, I plugged in the second one. So I plugged in the other cable in the back. So now my GPU over here has, where is it? HDMI and DisplayPort. And now I'm getting HDMI and DisplayPort. So we can come in here, we can go Display Settings. I think they're backwards. Nope, they're fine. So that's the main one. Yep, so there you go. I mean, it's working right away. So that's Display 1, sorry, Display 2, Display 1. It's working fan-freaking-tastic, exactly like I want it to do. Uh, let's just make sure it can do the proper resolutions. So it's going to do 60 hertz, no problem, 4K, as you can see there. Well, as you can see there. This is also a 4K 60 monitor on the right there. 4K, 60 hertz. So I'm able to get two 4K 60 hertz monitors hooked up to that there. And then the Mac right now, it, it only has, Max only have one output, but I have a little dock there so I can hook up a second one. Isn't that freaking cool? The fact here, now I'm on PC1, just go like that, and now I'm on PC2. Give it a second. There's the Mac over there. Both screens now working. That's my Mac mini there. Both screens working. And that's a nice clean background. I like that. And then I can just go, okay, now I gotta go back to PC. Like I need to go back to my PC because um, I do certain things on Mac and I do certain things on PC, like honestly. And look at the mouse, it just works on both of them. Uh, what was the other thing I wanted to test? Oh yeah, just like this. Just put that in there. I already showed that it worked, but I just want to see it kind of doing it as I'm watching. Man, is that cool. So it's right there. Look at that. Oh, you can't really see. Yeah, so that's right there. That's the little data swap thing that I put in there. It's, it's also just right in front of me, so I can reach right directly in front of me and do that. Come back, plug it in. Okay, so it's been a little while and I've got more set up using it more frequently, cleaned up my setup. It's still a little messy. I have all these wires and stuff, but I'm just figuring out how I want to get it set up. So this is basically how I have it now. I have the KVM product under there, Test Smart under there. I have my eGPU over here, my laptop, which I take with me to come uh, do work elsewhere, set it down, plug it in, I'm good to go. And then you can see I'm hooked up to two different monitors, fantastic. Lots of different ways you could use this, obviously professional type work, but let's say you're a streamer or something. You can see over here, I have the uh, webcam plugged in right there. Just plugged right into the front. Doesn't have to be in there all the time, but when I'm using it, I can plug it in. Very cool. And then over here on my rightmost screen, let's kill some of these lights, jeez. On my rightmost screen, I have the webcam. You can see it's uh, active there. Hello. And my recording my screen. And then maybe over here, I have my gameplay. I have my controls here, my webcam controls, other controls. You know, I could have Twitch stream, whatever. I don't do Twitch, but if you did, this would be fantastic. Doing that kind of stuff, you know, you're doing all your work here. Uh, for me, doing work, but for, you know, if you're a streamer, a gamer, or something like that, set it up like that. Then what you do, you can come in and you can switch over to your Mac. Now, what seems also pretty interesting is one other setup. Let me try one other setup that I'm gonna do. I'm gonna show you guys something else cool. Okay, so let's say I'm on my Mac here or Windows PC, whatever, in this case it's Mac, but let's say it was Windows PC and I'm here doing work. Maybe I'm doing some video editing over here. You know, maybe I have some files over here, whatever. I have my dual screen thing going up. Remember, it's all connected, good to go. And then, okay, I'm just kind of tired. I just don't really feel like, I don't know, just don't really feel like doing work on my Mac anymore. So then what I do is I reach for and I press this button here. Uh, and then I wait for, I don't know, two seconds. And then, yeah. <laughs> and then I'm playing Nintendo Switch. Switch 2, in fact. Uh, I have it over here, hooked up. You could hook it up to your PS5. You could hook it up to your Xbox. You could hook it up to your Switch 1, Switch 2. You could up to your gaming PC, which is basically this here. Uh, but I just wanted to show something different than, you know, PC and 
Mac kind of stuff because that's kind of the traditional way I would show that. But a lot of people don't necessarily, whatever this, a lot of people do other stuff such as play games and they have consoles to play said games. And so it's nice to have the option of coming in and you know hooking it up to a game console and being able to flip over back and forth so quickly. Like I don't even have to technically turn off the system, right? I can just come in here, start ripping some Harry Porker over here. Of course the audio works between the two of them. Um, I just had the audio coming out of, I have a uh, speakers hooked up and then it's wired into the uh, monitor itself. So then whichever monitor is, whichever device is using the monitor will automatically get audio. There's no need to switch the audio as well. I don't have to have a plug into two different devices. I just set it up to go over HDMI. And yeah, I mean, you're able to rip real quick, rip some games, whatever it is that you want to play. Professor Fig's Classroom. I'm playing this on the Switch because I'm actually trying to get a little further and see how it compares to the other consoles. And then, okay, I'm done, done. You know, I played, I had my break, done some games, whatever. Uh, and then I come back and I switch like this and then I'm back into professional mode, whatever. And I'm doing some work right again. So, I mean, come on. Come on, how cool is that? It's so good, it's actually so good. So that's that, that's the uh, Tez Smart. Uh, this model here is the HDK202-M24. They have other models too, they have lots. Um, I think it's great, I mean, it's not fancy in a way, it's simple. It makes what is a complicated situation, especially for someone like me, an overly ridiculously complicated situation for someone like me and simplifies it. 